Hello everyone, myself Pinkal Patel from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center Navsari. This video lecture is about security service and security mechanism. This lecture covers what is security service, what are the types of security service, and then what is security mechanisms and what are the types of security mechanisms. So first of all, what is security service? According to X.800 standard, security service is defined as a service that is provided by a protocol layer of communicating open systems and that ensures security of the systems or of the data transfer. So basically, security service provides the security to the data. Next is classification of security service. So security service is classified as authentication. These are the subtypes of authentication. Next is access control. Next is data confidentiality. This is the subtypes of the data confidentiality. Next is data integrity. These are the subtypes of the data integrity. Next is non repetition And these are the subtypes of non repetition We will see one by one them. Next is first, first security service is authentication. So first of all, what is authentication? Authentication service is the assurance that the communicating entity is one that it claims to be. For example, if we are accessing our Gmail account from the unknown PC or laptop, then Gmail will ask us for a password as well as one verification code is sent to our registered mobile number with the Gmail. Then only Gmail will grant access to our account. So this is one type of security service which provides the authentication. So uh, authentication subtype is peer entity authentication and data origin authentication. So in peer entity authentication is a connection oriented authentication service which provide the authentication when the users are connected with each other. And data origin, origin authentication is the connection is transferred which provide the assurance that the source of the received data is as claimed. Next is access control. So, access control is the prevention of unauthorized use of the resources. Only the authorized user can access to some resources. Who? So, access control service provides that who can have access to some resources, under what condition and what amount of resources the user can use. So, in some warehouses or data centers, uh, in entrance or exit gate, some fingerprints or biometrics or face recognition access control schemes are provided. Next is, we will see next security service is data confidentiality. So, data confidentiality means protection of the data from unauthorized disclosure. That means, in simple language, data confidentiality means hiding the data. The data which is being transferred between sender and receiver should be hidden. So first subtype is connection confidentiality. In connection confidentiality, the protection of all the users which are connected and the data should be remain confidential. Next is connection list confidentiality. In this, the protection of the all the user data in a single data block should be remain confidential. Then next is selective field confidentiality. In this, the confidentiality of selected field within the user data on a connection or a single data block should be remain confidential. Next is traffic flow confidentiality in which the protection of the information which is being derived from the traffic flow should be remain confidential. Our next uh, security service is data integrity. So what is data integrity? Data integrity is the assurance that the received data are as exactly as the sent by the sender. So received data should not contain any modification, insertion, deletion or measure should not be replied by the attacker. So data integrity assures that the data is complete, accurate, secure and consistent as sent by the sender. Next, the subtype of data integrity is connection integrity with recovery in which this service provides the integrity of the all the users which are being, which are connected and detect any modification are done on the on that data or not and that and then provide the recovery of that data next is connection integrity without recovery in which in which it is same as the connection integrity with recovery but 
it only provide the detection and doesn't provide any recovery of the modified data next stick selective field connection integrity it provides integrity of selected field within the user data and take the form of determination determination that whether the selected field is being modified or not next sub type of data integrity is connectionless integrity connectionless integrity provide the integrity of the single connectionless data block and also detect any modification in on that data selective field connectionless integrity it provide the integrity of the selected field within a single connectionless data block and also detect any modification is done on that data or not next our last security service is non repudiation so first of all what is non repudiation non repudiation is uh, is the assurance that someone cannot cannot deny something okay so communication cannot deny the authenticity of the signature on a document or sending of a message that day originated for example if a user of a bank suppose suppose transfer some say suppose 1 lakh uh, transfer 1 lakh money to my friend and after that he user of the bank uh, uh, customer cannot deny that he or he or she has sent or uh, done that transaction so non repudiation service assure that someone cannot deny something after after they have done then next what are the sub type of non repudiation non repudiation origin and non repudiation destination non repudiation origin service prove that the message was sent by the specified party and non repudiation destination give a proof that the message was received by the specified party next our topic is security mechanism so first of all what are what is security mechanism mainly security mechanisms are designed to prevent detect or recover from the attack there are different different type of security mechanism but no single mechanism can provide all the services so security mechanism mostly use cryptographic techniques uh, there are there are mainly two types of security mechanism specific security mechanism and pervasive security mechanism in specific security mechanism provide the security to a specific protocol layer and pervasive security mechanism not integrated to any per, uh, particular osi security layer so we will discuss specific security mechanisms so first is encipherment encipherment means hiding a co or covering the data using mathematical algorithm so basically encipherment contains encryption and decryption technique which include the mathematical algorithms to transferring the data next is digital signature the sender in digital signature the sender can electronically sign the data and the receiver can electronically verify the signature of the sender next is access control a variety of mechanism that enforce access right to the resources next is data integrity data integrity to a variety of mechanism is used to assure that the integrity of data unit or a data units so in data integrity the message which is being transferred between sender and receiver should not be modified for that for example checksum mechanism is also checksum mechanism is used in a sender side uh, sender will generate some generate some number using that using the message which is being transferred and also append the, that number to the to the to the message and after that send that send that appended appended code to the receiver then receiver will also generate the same uh, also generate the same uh, also generate the checksum using the received message and verify that the verify that the number which is being transferred by the sender is same as the number which is generated by the receiver side if both the numbers are equal then the message is not modified during the transmission and if both the numbers are not equal uh, both the numbers are not equal then the message is being modified during the transmission so such type of security mechanisms are used to provide the data integrity next mechanisms is authentication action two entities exchange some message or code to prove their identity to each other next is traffic padding the insertion of bits into the gaps 
in a data stream to frustrate the traffic analysis attack. In this uh, mechanism, the bits are added in the static or ending of a message to prevent the traffic analysis attack. Next is routing control. So here, continuously changing the routes between the sender and receiver to prevent the attacker from eavesdropping. So that attacker cannot capture the message which is being transferred between the sender and receiver. Next is notarization. The use of trusted third party to assure and control the communication is known as notarization. So two communicating entity entity and the third trusted third uh, two communicating entity employ the trusted third party. So this type of mechanism is used to uh, used to control the repetition which is being which is earlier discussed by us that the entity cannot deny that he or she has sent the message or he or she has done that transaction. So notarization is useful in repudiation. That's all for security service and security mechanism. Thank you.